Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yaniv Hoffman and today we are going to speak about OSINT, Open Source Intelligence Tools. Reconnaissance of information gathering is the first step used by the ethical hackers to grab information about the target individual network or an organization. OSINT plays a critical role and assists hackers to obtain valuable information about their target. Tons of information gathering tools are being used, but they are widely spread across the internet and can make the information gathering process the time consuming. Back in World War II, the United States had an intelligence department called the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS, which was the precursor to the CIA. The OSS had the entire research and analysis brand dedicated to open source intelligence that collected newspapers, journals, and radio broadcast reports from all over the world. In the 1980s, the term OSINT was used by the US military to obtain valuable information about their military targets and to gain frontline advantage over its adversaries. Today, the OSINT is used by the professionals and organizations across the globe to gather valuable information and make decisions upon analyzing the data. Marketing and sales department can use OSINT to launch new products and to develop new sales and marketing strategies, while cybersecurity professionals can use this framework to gain useful information about the target, which can be further used to exploit vulnerabilities and to mitigate cyber threats in the future. So what exactly is OSINT? The term OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence and is referred to tools, processes, and strategies used to collect data about the target individual or organization from public sources. In the past, the term open source information was used instead of OSIN to gather information from publicly available resources, such as blog, newspapers, radio, television, etc. Today, just about everybody uses OSIN for different purposes. It can be students that are working on a research project in the university, or law enforcement agencies working on crime cases, employees or employers scoping up jobs or con candidates, journalists writing, investigating uh, reports, criminals that are looking to conduct fraud and crimes, and even every one of us exploring the social media. So what is OSINT used for in cybersecurity? Ethical hackers gather publicly available information about the target organization to narrow down the search for finding the possible vulnerabilities. This information is gathered without engaging the target and is further used by the attackers to develop a threat model which can be further used to initiate a cyber attack. Organizations can use OSINT to collect publicly available information to know what information can be used against them by the attackers to launch a cyber attack. Once an organization understands what kind of information is available publicly, it can then ask the cybersecurity professionals to develop mitigation techniques to defend the organization from cyber breach. They can know what vulnerabilities can expose their security to the intruders and how attackers might leverage this information to conduct social engineering attack against the employees. So how to get started with OSINT? OSINT can be used by various industries and by cybersecurity professionals to get the optimum results. To get started with OSINT, first you have to answer the following questions. Which kind of information am I looking for? What is the main objective of the information gathering? Am I clear about the target? What is my plan for grabbing information about the target? Once you answer these listed questions, congratulations! You can go ahead with OSINT framework and its tools. But before you start, there are two concepts you must be familiar with. Identifiers and pivoting. And identifiers are unique keywords or tokens that describe a piece of data 
Some examples can include name, email, IP address, birthday, MAC address, phone numbers, geolocations and coordinates, home address, license plate, pictures, Bitcoin addresses, password hash, host name, operating system, social media, username, credit card, hobbies, and website. These identifiers might exist across many different databases scattered across the internet. So when you conduct OSINT research, you may have only one, two, maybe three identifiers, which not always can give you the best intelligence. And this is why pivoting is key in OSINT. And when I say pivoting, by searching for same identifier in different databases to correlate and discover new identifier about research in target. In example, a picture might contain a unique GPS coordination and landmark that can be discovered by geo coordinators such as Google Street, and then it can lead to a home address. Search address in the public records can reveal the owner's name, which can be uh, then used to discover social media account and then email address. So from picture, we reach to an email. And same, we can do the opposite, from email to picture. Now, one can start with OSINT effectively if its framework and tools are used in combination with investigation strategy and with critical thinking skills. So looking at the OSINT framework, collecting information from multiple sources is a time-consuming activity, but there are a vast range of tools that can be used for intelligence gathering of the required information. An OSINT framework is a collection of tools that can be used by the attackers or the ethical hackers to collect information about the target in quick and effective manner. This framework is famous among the cybersecurity researchers and penetration testers who use these tools for reconnaissance and footprinting. The OSINT framework is a web-based interface that allows cybersecurity professionals to look for different information gathering tools. Depending on its usage, these tools are filtered out into multiple categories. The framework let the professional to acquire data to open source intelligence tools. The OSINT is explained in detail by official website of the OSINT framework. The framework led the researchers to harvest useful information, such as collecting email addresses, IP addresses, geolocation, and other critical information from the dark web. Classification of the OSINT framework. The OSINT framework can be accessed from its official website, which can let the researchers to look for the required tools to gather the required information. Yet, if you want to learn more about OSINT, the RAN Corporation crafted a report about the next generation OSINT. The report presents a framework for understanding the modern practice of open source intelligence. It reviews the literature on open source intelligence and re-examines definitions used in other areas by US intelligence community in the context of modern open source information. The report describes the evolution of open source intelligence over the past 50 plus years and defines open source information and the open source intelligence cycle and draws parallels between open source as an intelligence discipline and other intelligence disciplines. It also examines the method used by open source tools and the challenges of using off-the-shelf technology for open source analysis. It concludes by suggested areas for further study. But in high level, let me try to give you the highlight for the stages of OSINT. The first one is collection. And this is about acquiring data for many resources. And here are one of the best tools used for this. Intelligence X is an independent European technology company founded in 2018 by Peter Kleisner. The company is based in Prague, Czech Republic. Its mission to develop and maintain search engines and data archives. Now, Intelligence X differentiates itself from other search engines in these unique ways. One, the search works with selectors, in example, specific search terms such as email address, domains, URLs, IPs, CIDRs, Bitcoin addresses, IPFS, hashes, etc. 
Second, it searches in place such as the Darknet, document sharing platform, whose data public leaks and others. Third, it keeps a historical data archive of results similar to how the Wayback Machine from archive org storages, historical copies of website. Second stage is processing. And it's all about data translation, involve validating the information and making it usable. The processing can take many forms, including translating sources materials from their original language into English and transforming video materials for photographs into usable intelligence. The first stage is explosion, connecting the dots between the identifier and near best to use Maltego tool. And Maltego is a built-in tool of Kali Linux, which comes in five different products, two of which can be used as free products by the pen testers. The tool is used for gathering information of a target in the form of graphical user interface. The OSIN tool can be used to harvest the following information about the target, its email address of the target organization employees, information regarding target IP addresses, files that are in incidentally placed in the internet, DNS records, and cybersecurity professionals can also use this tool to gather individual targets information. Maltego collects this information by communicating with the search engines and gather all information in single convenient location. Last but not least, the fourth stage is production. And this is about consolidating findings into report and share with others. I have a few more ideas and suggestions to learn and get experience. One, advanced Google. Learn more about the Google operators and advanced searching. In any case, it will help you in whatever you do. Second, research yourself. Practice these methods that we, we have spoken on yourself. That's the best way. And last but not least, automate with tools. Use Python and automated tools and other languages to make the search more effective, quick, and efficient. Final thoughts. After researching the OSINT framework, we came to conclude that there are a number of ways to grab information about the target organization or individual by using multiple intelligence tools. The OSINT framework can be used as a great tool to improve the cybersecurity of an organization by analyzing the publicly available information, which can be used by the attackers to compromise the IT infrastructure of the company. There are tons of OSINT tools available, and one must use a tool which is more effective in meeting its business requirements. And the most important, use it for good. Do not use it for bad. Thank you for watching. I hope it was insightful for you as it was enjoyable for me. If you like, please like and subscribe and see you in the next time. Bye.